hi guys welcome back to my kitchen this is Queen Lee as you know once again here to present you with a nice recipe a dis different recipe and I do hope that you will stay tuned and watch this video throughout well today in my kitchen I'll be cooking for you jollof rice that's one of my favorite african dishes actually i cook that a lot in the house the kids like it my family love it and uh, my friends you know said they wanted to see me do it because i'm always doing it for them so this is for my friends who requested this video well guys as you know with cooking we all have our different ways of doing it so as to this jello fries recipe guys we all do it different ways there are many different ways of cooking jello so this way is Queenie's kitchen way today and I do hope that you will go away learning something new from it and that you will also like it so first of all I'm going to be showing you the ingredients that I'm using which are quite basic and easy to get in any Caribbean shops or Afri Afro-Caribbean shops. Okay. So here we have our red scotch bonnet pepper. I like my jollof to be spicy and smoky. So I'm gonna be using two hot scotch bonnet pepper, red and green. I'm gonna be using also two red onions cause I like when my jollof is very vibrant in color. Yes, which I'm gonna be using palm oil. And this you can also get in any Afro-Caribbean shops yeah i'm going to be using one red bell pepper also for color and vibrancy and taste salt as you like it to taste also so you're going to be very discretion on your user discretion when using salt because maybe some of you are diabetic or you have high blood pressure you know how to measure your salt and how to use it so do go ahead and salt this dish to taste also very important to this recipe is our tomato so I'm going to be using some pulpa de pomodoro <laughs> la rosina <laughs> sorry chopped tomato chopped tomato is everywhere in Aldi in Sainsbury Afro Caribbean shops you can find this anywhere so I'm using today the chopped tomatoes you also have the plum tomatoes guys so you can go ahead and use the one that you like and I'm going to be using one can for that I'm also using I'm going to be using some smoked paprika now remember as I say different individuals cook their jollof different ways so for me I like to put smoked paprika in my jollof not only for the color that it gives but also for that smoky taste i love having that smoky taste with my jello so i choose to use the smoked paprika and if you if you have never used it before you can go ahead and try it there's always a first time for everything also i'm going to be using my tomato puree just want you to see yeah so that's my tomato puree that's going to be using this this some ginger yes i do use ginger guys in my jollof so if you haven't used ginger and you might be thinking what ginger then yes go ahead and try it you might like it even okay and obviously you know we need our rice so i'm going to be using a mixture of rice i'm going to be using basmati rice and also some brown rice my friend told me about this. She, she's from South Africa and we were having a conversation one day and you know I was telling her that I ran out of rice when I was cooking so I didn't have enough to share. And she was like, you know, you could you could have gone ahead and use um your basmati along with your brown rice. So today I'm going to I'm taking her advice and I'm using basmati and brown rice mixed together. So guys I've gone ahead and washed and diced my vegetable. So that's the red onion, two red onion, one green scotch bonnet pepper and a red scotch bonnet pepper. Now remember you can 
you know downsize the portion of ingredients that you use so it's depending on the amount of rice that you're going to use or you know the amount of people that you're cooking for so you can use one onion if it's you're just cooking for yourself or if you like onion you can do you can use two you can use three so always remember you can upsize or downsize on the portion of ingredients that you're using to cook any of my dishes okay also I have gone ahead to and um, washed and chopped my ginger yes as I mentioned before I do use ginger in my jollof so they are all nice to wash and prepare and also my red bell pepper is wash and prepare so I'm just gonna um, move over to the blender and add my canned can you see that my can chopped tomato and we are going to do some blending but guys um first of all just let me show you this now i should have mentioned earlier that um i do use cube cube stock in my chicken cube stock in my jello but really don't have any right now but a friend of mine recommend me to this vegeta if you haven't got any um chicken stock or cube you can go ahead and try using this trust me you won't be disappointed guys before you pour your oil in let me tell you something you see palm oil it normally goes very hard when you when it's in storage so what you can do to warm it up a bit just put it in the microwave for a couple seconds and then it will melt but also palm oil does give off smoke so if you're if your pot or your pan, whatever you're using is too hot, it's going to cause a havoc in the kitchen. It's going to smoke up and you're going cough, cough, cough. So what you need to do is switch on your um, smoke extractor if you do have one over your cooking hub. And also be ready for the smoke alarm to go off. <laughs> because guess what it always happened to me always happened to me so what i'm doing now i've turned down the stove really low and i'm going to go in and pray to god that the oil do overeat and the smoke up the place and let me start cough all right so i've poured in my oil and i'm using about whoa can you see the oil now going off maybe it's not for the alarm i'm going to switch on my extractor there it goes so I'm just going to leave the oil now to eat up guys and then I'm going to blend my tomato and everything together and pour it in. So guys, all the ingredients now along with my plum tomato, chopped tomato rather, is in my blender. And I'm going to go in with a can of water from the said tin of the chopped tomato. Go in so I can have more juice when I'm blending my ingredients. So. That's one can of that said thing of chopped tomato. I'm going to blend it right now. So I'm just going to cover and leave to blend for a couple of seconds. Into the already heated palm oil. Then we're going to give it a stir. everything is mixed nicely together and then when you see everything is mixed in with the oil nicely together then you're going to cover it and leave it boil for at least 10 minutes and then you can check on it and add your rice after but so now we're just going to leave it guys we don't need to boil it for long i think 10 minutes will get me to where i want before adding my rice okay and also at this point you can just add um any form of seasoning because as i say everybody cook different so maybe if you want to add some black pepper or some thyme or the salt to taste at this point you can do it but i normally let mine boil for 10 minutes and then i go in and check and then that's where i'll add anything extra if i choose to so at this point now guys i'm just going to cover and leave the boil so guys i'm checking back on my stew for my jello rice right now and as you can see the color has changed it is boiling down to a nice thick consistency which is exactly what i wanted so at this point i'm just going to go in 
and add my puree so I'm adding half a cube of my puree guys and I'm just squeezing that in and um, that a tube of puree guys contains 200 grams so I'm using 100 gram of puree then I'm going to go in with a teaspoon so I'm going to sprinkle it in of my smoked paprika and remember this is optional but I just like the taste of the smokiness of the paprika in my jello and then I'm substituting my Vegeta seasoning guys it's very nice you should go ahead and try it for my cube my chicken stock or cube so I'm just going to sprinkle some of that in. I'm using about two teaspoons full. So I'm sprinkling it in. And yes, my measurement I think is right. <laughs> I know you might be thinking, how am I sprinkling it in? And how am I going to know the two teaspoons full while sprinkling it in? Well, I'm used to it. All right, so we stir at this point. Stir it nicely in so everything is mixed together. And then at this point, you go in and you taste it. The salt is missing, so I'm going to add my salt. And remember, guys, it's salt to taste. And I'm going to leave it after stirring it again. So you see the consistency is really coming up really well. I love the thickness of it. And the smell of the Vegeta seasoning that my friend V, thank you so much. For recommending this season it is really nice i'm loving it girl very nice so i'm just going to cover guys and um yeah go ahead and wash my rice and i'll get back to you okay thank you for watching and remember to subscribe share like and send me a comment you know send me a comment or if you don't i'm not going to know if i'm cooking it the right way you can send me your ideas and we can share it together huh so go ahead now and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed before and if you have god bless you eh i beg go go and subscribe now and i will see you in few minutes Mwah. the rice is nicely washed and strained about four times i did it to get the water to this clarity so you need for this recipe to make sure that the water from the rice is running really clear before you add it to your stew okay you want the water to be really clear and then you will know that all the carbohydrates have been washed off you do not want the milky substance to remain in the rice so guys i've added my rice now to the stew and i'm going to stir it nicely in beautiful color and trust me the steam that is coming out from this stew it's smelling delicious guys if i may say so myself it's not because it's me that is cooking it it's the truth <laughs> smelling really 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 nice so yes at this point i'm stirring it in so everything will be mixing well together you can see right and then now we're just going to leave it guys and I'm going to cover it to cook down nicely for at least 15 minutes. Before I present to you that delicious pot of jollof that I prepared for us, I would like to show off my nice afro dashiki that my friend made for me. So yes, I'm wearing this to compliment the team of the Jell-Off because I know all my family and my friends, this video is just for you because I know you like your Jell-Off and I know you like the way oh, I cook my Jell-Off. So this team is for you, okay? So there is my dress that my friend have made for me. It's actually my family. She's an in-law, so yeah. Love my dress. Thank you so much. And I hope that you will enjoy watching this video. And do not forget to love. Not like this time. Love. Subscribe and share. Because it's all about loving Queenie's Kitchen. And remember, sharing is scary. Without further ado, I'm going to show you that delicious pot of gel love that is waiting for you. Ooh, guys, look. 
it is ready and fluffy and it is nicely cooked down exactly how I like it so I'm just gonna go in now and fluff it look at that guys beautiful and shelly I love my gel of to be shelly and that's how my friends and family like it so yeah you can see my lens is a bit steamy but guys you can see that's my gel off ah I'm loving it and I haven't even tasted it as yet so I'm just fluffing it a bit guys and now I'm just gonna go ahead now and share your portion That's your jollof, my version I must say, because you know we all cook our jollof in so many different ways. This was much awaited for, had loads of requests for it and I hope that you guys will definitely enjoy it. So go ahead and enjoy, but before you do, don't forget to love, <laughs> not like love. So don't forget to like, subscribe, share guys, sharing is caring and comment. Please do communicate by, you know, sending me your comments. Okay, so as always, it's one love from Queenie's Kitchen. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm going to bring you some African stew. Mm-hmm. Smoked chicken with gizzard. Uh, I'm telling you, that is going to be delicious, guys. I love that one. I'm going to cook it, and I know that you'll enjoy it. So, my friends, until next time, God bless. One love from Queenie's Kitchen. Love you. Bye.